Good evening, everybody. This is Thursday night. This is Political Hot Seat. Tonight, uh, we're going to be here with a person running as a candidate for a public administrator. And tonight, we have just only the call in 727 8750. Once again, that's 727 8750. I would like for anybody who has questions for the public administrator's office to please call in and ask your question for I'm not here to ask the questions for you. That's why we have this live and a call-in show. So anyway, tonight uh, we're not going to be running anything off of uh, Facebook and that because once again, uh, Vern is gone, so we could have a pretty good show tonight. <laughs> and so I'm here with a candidate for public administrator. Public administrator, his name is Mr. Butch Doe. Mr. Doe, can you tell us why you would want such a thing? Well, first, thanks for having me, Bill. Okay. I didn't realize this was going to be a hot seat when you, uh, when you asked me on board. But uh, <laughs> Okay, um, one of the reasons I, I want to be in the public administrator's office is basically because I've been listening to a lot of people who say that there are problems with it. And I don't know if I can, but I'd like to be the guy who tries to solve those problems. Well, yes, in the past, I know there's been quite a few uh, questions raised about it. I've even in the past myself had questions raised about it. And uh, now you don't get to talk. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> we, but there's been a lot of questions. And, you know, the thing is, is trying to get a hold of the, you get a hold of, <laughs> we have somebody interpreting here yes. in another language. You know, I don't know if it's an alien or what, but. Anyhow, uh, we've had questions about this office to where people claim that they're not being notified about a deceased person and that, and uh, where a lot of people say people have things to where public administrators, you know, besides that, we've even had one arrested and another one out running loose someplace that they can't find, and, you know. Um, I it, have heard about that. Yeah, uh, the thing is, is uh, what can you do to maybe improve this to show the public that it would be, you know, like is there any things like you could do with uh, vehicles left or, or merchandise left to where you'd be able to show people that this is it and this is what it was. Or I did try to contact the sister in Las Vegas instead of ignoring her. I mean. Uh, well, there seems to be a lot to it. And one of the things that's happened is there's been more more articles in the paper and more, this, this has been becoming more transparent because of all these different articles in the paper that have been coming out uh, and shows like this. And there have been a lot of talk about it. And one of the things that I, the first thing I think that we need is when a public administrator goes on site, he needs to have probably more than one camera, a video camera, so that you can start your inventory and if you run out of room on a video camera, and there's a lot of room on those nowadays, you can start and you can start a second camera and overlap that first camera with your date and time. So there's no break in what you're looking at what, when you're doing the inventory. Okay, and, that, and, and getting to another part of your question, um, finding relatives and so forth, that's, that's not a simple thing, but it can be done. And, it, and it, it'll just take a lot of work. Right. Well, I know this is a, mostly a commission, like what, 5%, uh, 8%, it depends on the size of the... Well, it depends, apparently it depends on the size of the estate, and it, it goes from, I think, 6% down to 2%. Six so percent. as the estate gets larger, the percentage drops. Well, yeah, because if you got a million dollar estate, I mean... Then, yeah, if uh, you have a $10,000 estate, you... You get you seem to get more of it, but if you have a hundred a million dollar estate, you you do get more of it with a lower percentage. Right. But I I also think that we might look at this as a paid position, so we aren't looking at putting the whoever's in that position of public administrator into the position of trying to get as much as they can for whatever's left of an estate. Well, I uh, I and understand. It, it might. It might remove some of that uh, will, you know, want from the, from the person who's doing it. They might want to take a little of this or a little bit of that. But. 
Where does a public administrator, do you believe, oversteps their boundaries and that if there's a, like a living trust or something, do you just uh, allow the sheriffs or do you personally or something, would you go and just contact the person on the trust and say, hey, they passed away, you need to come handle their affairs? Or Well, from what I understand, there's supposed to be a sheriff's deputy, because this is the county and we don't have a right. police department, and, and, a, and a coroner, and I don't know if they're both the same, but... Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they, they could be. And uh, they're supposed to determine whether or not something like, you know, that there's a relative or not. And if they can't figure out that there's a relative, that's when it gets turned over to the public administrator who's supposed to then try and figure out what's going on. Yeah, well, I know a lot of people, older people, uh, myself included, when some years ago when people were being arrested for all this shenanigans going on with vehicles and everything, uh, they went out and made a living trust and that kind of stuff and recorded it, which I did, but no. Well, I'm, I'm, I haven't made a living trust up, so I'm not sure what it is, but what that says to me is that you made a will, basically, that states that you have heirs. Right. So it should be pretty easy if, if we can find that document to trace down well, whatever heirs you have. That's why it's uh, considered a living trust because we're still li alive, you know, but what it is, it goes one daughter, the other daughter, granddaughter, grandson, on down all the way to great-grandchildren. Who was and, left and, alive at yeah. the time. Yeah. And uh, we recorded it through the county records plus the bank. Whenever I receive statements from the bank, it says in the living trust of then it's the account, like your checking account, savings account, or anything like oh, that. Okay. So that, that makes so, it easier. So for your job, that would be, yeah. should be easy. It unless, should be. Unless you walked in there and seen, you know, 500 ounces of gold sitting there, and you thought, hmm, I wonder if anybody knows about this. No, I'm and, sorry, but my wife wouldn't like me to do that. Yeah, well, there's <laughs> been problems, you know, in the world today with such things going on. And like I said, I've been involved in one friend of mine, she was involved in a big one, and so uh, I think it's about time since this is a, actually an official position that there is somebody or somebody that you can trust in there or some type of oversight. Yeah. I mean, it just needs to be. And once again, folks, I want to tell you, our, this is a live call-in show tonight. If you try to send a question in by Facebook or anything, uh, I'm not going to get it. So anyway, you're going to have to call in at 727-8750. Once again, that's 727-8750. And we are here with candidate Butch Dole. And we're uh, he's going to be the public administrator. That's what they call it, right? Public administrator. And that covers the whole county. Yes. So, and it's a large county. Yeah, so when you're sitting up in gabs trying <laughs> to figure out what to do, and somebody calls you from front site, I guess you got ways to travel. Yeah, that would that would be a ways. Well, I do, do you have any idea? Does the county allow you a, a vehicle for this, or not that I know of? But oh. that should be part of it also, because you're, then you're not trying to get back what you're spending. Right. You, know, you, you want to do I, look. I think there has to be respect in this in this office, and has to be you have to have respect for the dead. I mean. Here, the person died, and, and what's left is, is what's, what they've worked their whole life for. Right. You know, and it's not up to you to go in and go, oh, I like this or I like that. I'm sorry, but I've, I've heard that happens, it happened in the past, and that there's somebody in jail for it and yeah. things like that. So, but you, I, I want to bring respect for that, that person who spent their life accumulating all this, and I want to do the best job I can by that person. Right. I, well, you know, I would think that's the way everybody would feel, but obviously there are some people that they, it's all for me. You know, I had a person say to me, when I'm alive and somebody comes into my house and they rob me and they take everything, the sheriffs go out and arrest them. Now that I die, somebody comes in and takes everything and they rob me and nobody does nothing about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's kind of like there's no way there to call, though, I mean. I mean yeah, right. <laughs> so there's yeah. no way there to, to voice that. And uh, after you pass away, you know, uh, like, you know, hell, I might be within two hours of dying or I might be within 20 years of dying. But I don't want somebody I don't know to end up with it. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, like I said, you worked your whole life to get what you got. And you have to, you should be, have some. Yes, I'm curious to know what Butch would do 
if he goes out on a call, which Sheriff called him out on, and he finds a notarized note on the front door that says, in case of my death, call this person, what would his that be? If I found a note that said, call an authorized person? Yeah. Is that? Well, I, well I, the first thing I do is call the authorized person. I mean, if that's what the person wanted, that's what that's what should happen. I mean, it probably should have happened with the with the deputy in in there, uh, and I should never have been called to go out. Well, you know, I can't always say that there's always a deputy because uh, I found a friend of mine who had passed away, and uh, we ended up with no deputy showing up, but other people showing up, no. and. Uh, well, that's so, not right either, though. That's not the way it's supposed to work. Well, a lot of things around here don't work the way they're supposed to work. I can tell maybe, you that. Maybe that's what's wrong. <laughs> you know, maybe and, uh, maybe we need someone to make things work the way they're supposed to work. All right. Well, you know. Anyway, we will pick this up. People remember to call seven two seven eight seven five zero. Like I said, we don't have the Facebook and that right now, but it will be out on YouTube sometime over the weekend, I believe. Anyway, we need to go to a break. And we will be back with right after these messages.